So I've been catching a few on the shad and I uh, kind of want to mix it up a little bit. So what I, um, here's a good tip for you, just if you, haven't, if you don't want to take out 10 different rods with all the different setups on, um, still use the same rod and reel. I've obviously got my fluorocarbon coming down onto a clip so I can unclip my shad and then I make up and I keep in this little, this little wallet uh, a few sort of Texas stroke Carolina rigs. So um, I've got them made up on about four or five inches of fluorocarbon and all I do is take one out, put it onto that clip like that and then I can attach, so I normally for a Carolina rig I attach about, sort of start at about 50 centimeters or so. If it was a Texas rig I'd actually just use this clip here to clip the hook straight on. So all I've got is um, just a, a sort of a rubber stopper, my Carolina or Texas weight, a bead and then my clip. So just makes it really really versatile and then I can swap between shads and, and all different things. So. Right, let's put that back on there. Clip that one on here. And then if it's not quite the right presentation, I can always just go back to a shad. But I sort of feel at the moment that they've seen a shad for the last hour or two. And actually, I think just a little bit different presentation. So the beauty of a Carolina rig in particular is there's no lead fixed to the bait. So you get a very, very slow, natural presentation. So you should fish them very slow. You want to be dragging that lead just along the bottom. Um, and I like creature baits or little curly tail baits, something that's quite finessey. Um, the bait has got such little weight in it, it's just got the hook, it's, it's actually almost just hanging in the surface film. So I'm going to get such a slow fall uh, and it's a brilliant way just to trick one or two of those last perch when you've when you've caught a few. Weather's coming in a bit now, but so concentration is absolutely key with Texas and Carolina fishing. Carolina in particular, because you're always gonna have a little bit of slack and that, that bait is always gonna be sort of floating and fluttering quite a bit. So they're not tend to be arm wrenchers for bites. So pay attention, a lot of them are just gonna be little ticks, or well, the next time you wanna drag it along, you'll just feel that resistance. Little strike, and you should be in. Thought we'd get another one out of the swim using this type of bait. Look at that. Brilliant. There you go, just goes to show a little change of presentation, offer them something different, a different colour, a different soft plastic, a different method. And when you th I thought this swim was pretty much done uh, and we've managed to sneak another one out of it. So um, yeah, brilliant. So here we go. So there we are. There's my Carolina weight, about 50 or 60 centimeters. And I've offered that the Cree crawl really slow along the bottom and he's nailed it. But very very slow presentation oh yes I like it when a plan comes together look at that another one about a pound and a half or so some cracking fish in this place I'm having a great day right let's pop him back <laughs> 